Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie and I am so happy to have you here. Before we get started today, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We have lots of fun on this channel, so you'll also wanna hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time a new video drops. Today, I wanna get into some daytime fall inspired makeup. We all know about the vampy vibes, the fall time slay at night, but how about daytime? This look is super comfortable to wear. It's great for daytime because it's not super cakey or anything. It's just fresh and flawless. It's also super, super easy to do. And in this video, I actually use a few of the newer products that has just been launched. So we get into that as well. So if you are interested in seeing exactly how I created this look and everything that I used, then let's get into it. Boom, bangs out of the face, here we go. So to start, I always start by priming my face. Since it's more like fall season, I kind of want to do less of like dewy and more like matte dewy, if that makes sense. We'll still let a little bit of dew shine through, but we're gonna have to use some different products that we use in the summer. So to prime, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer. So what I really love about this primer is that it feels like a moisturizer when it goes on. It just feels really good, even though it is meant to be more of like a soft matte finish. It just it feels really good. I can't stand the matte, like the matte matte on my skin is just not cute. It just ends up looking dry and crusty and ain't nobody got time for that. All right, and then for foundation, I'm gonna jump into the newest Fenty Beauty foundation, which is their Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. I'm wearing the shade 385. So I like this foundation for like a daytime look because it's not full coverage so you can still kind of see your skin coming through and it also looks like skin itself because it's such a hydrating foundation. I don't like to look too cakey or too made up in the day. That's just me. That's my preference. I just prefer to look more natural and kind of just enhance things rather than like really sculpting my face. Just going to add a little extra coverage over my mouth area. For some reason, I just have a lot of discoloration in that area. So I usually always go back in with extra product around there. All right. So you can see this is like super, super dewy and hydrating. But like I said, we're not really going for this. It's not summer anymore. So we're gonna fix that when we get to setting powder, but we'll get to that in a minute. Next, I'm gonna go in with concealer. I think today I'm gonna mix two so I can get a little color dimension going. So first I'm going in with my Cover FX Power Play Concealer in the shade N Deep One. This is one of the newer products from Cover FX. If you guys know me, you know how much I love the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. So when I saw that they made a concealer to go with that foundation, I had to get it, and I absolutely love it. I'm also gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan. It's like a little bit lighter, so I'm just gonna focus that on this inner area here so we can get like a little bit of extra brightening. So normally my next step would be like a cream contour stick to then sculpt my face a little bit. But like I said, because it's daytime and I'm trying to look a little bit more natural, I'm gonna skip that step and instead we will just use some bronzer to add some warmth a little bit later on. So right now I'm gonna grab my matte setting powder. This is also by Cover FX and this is in their shade medium. And I'm just gonna use this to set my entire face. This is my OG ride or die setting powder. I love it. It's not like a newer product or anything, but this is something that I always, always, always reach for. You got the right amount of like matte, but still got a little bit of dewy shining through. You see like the combination of the matte primer, the hydrating foundation, and then this matte powder is like perfect for the kind of look that I'm going for today. All right, so next we're gonna jump into that bronzer to add a little bit more warmth and a little bit more dimension to the face. My current favorite, favorite, favorite bronzer of all time is the new Fenty Bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty. Subtle, but effective. 
All right, so before we finish the rest of our face, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my brows. This is also another Fenty product. Fenty has just been killing it lately with all of these launches. I am dying over everything, honestly. So I'm gonna grab my Fenty brow pencil in the shade Black Brown, y'all. This is life. I used to be like a ride or die ABH brow whiz girl, but I threw my brow whiz out as soon as I use this. I just love it. The color, the brush that comes on here, as well as just how it works. I used to have to draw my eyebrows first before I did foundation, but this, the way this works after the foundation, it just, ugh, it's just life. And if you don't have one, you need to get one immediately. Like brow, no brow. It's a necessity. All right, now I have brows. All right, so now I'm gonna jump into a little bit of eyeshadow, and by a little bit, I mean like one. Um, in the daytime, you don't really need eyeshadow, so honestly, you could really skip this step, but I kind of like to just contour my eye, just give it a little bit of dimension, and I usually just use one shade for that. So I'm gonna be digging into Aunt Jackie's eyeshadow palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm just gonna take this shade here, which is called Ginger. It's just like a burnt orangey brown, and I'm just kind of gonna sweep it all over my crease, and that's it. All right, so before we hit the second eye, you can kind of see the difference. Like it's just a little bit of dimension, a little bit more sharpness into the face, into the eyes, and that's all we really need for daytime. All right, so now we are gonna jump back into our cheeks, and I wanna go in with a highlighter. I'm using a very subtle highlighter, and this is gonna be the Black Up Sublime Light Highlighter in the shade SLP03. This is pretty golden, but also just pretty like subtle. All right, and then to kind of just marry the highlighter and the bronzer together, I'm gonna go in with blush. My current favorite blush for fall is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Glow Blush, and this is in the shade Bang Bang. I love this shade. It's like a pinky, plummy kind of color, and I love it as opposed to like the corally, peachy kind of colors I go for in summer. I think this is really, really nice. This also looks really, really nice with red lipstick, just so y'all know. This blush also has like a little bit of like shimmer in it as well, so it kind of will help to intensify your highlighter just a little bit. Boom, done. All right, so now the complexion's done, I'm gonna go ahead and set it a little bit. I am gonna use a dewy setting spray. Do you like my little mixture of like matte, then dewy, then matte, then dewy again? I love it. So I'm gonna use my Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I swear by this all year round. There's not one season where I don't use this. I just love it. It gives like an amazing finish and the setting power of this is like bomb. Done, our complexion completely done. So I'm gonna jump back up to eyes for the last time and normally for this step in nighttime, I would be applying some falsies, some lashes, you know, blah, blah, boom. But because it's daytime, I don't wanna get into all of that. So I am just gonna go in with some mascara and hopefully that will open up our eyes enough to where we don't need lashes. I honestly don't like to wear lashes if I don't need to. Like I really, I'm not about that life. So my favorite, favorite mascara of all time is the Tarte Matte Eater Mascara. Again, not like a new product, but it's just bomb and this is like a staple in my collection. It's not clumpy and I find that it curls my lashes the most out of all of the mascaras that I've ever tried, which is a lot. This curls my lashes the most and that's really what I need because I've got those like straight pointy lashes, so yeah. I like to do this just to help my lashes to curl a little bit more. I'm really scared of lash curlers, so I'd rather just do it with my fingers. Well, up close and personal, I just wanted you guys to see how my lashes came out. 
All right, and for the last step, we're gonna get into these lips. So for daytime, I kind of like to go for a gloss. And today we're gonna do like a brownie, nudish type ombre gloss. So I'm gonna start by grabbing my Bare Minerals lip liner in the shade Attitude. This is such a bomb color. It's like brown, but it's like the perfect brownie nude. Look at that. Boom. And then once we put some gloss on top of this, magical. So I'm gonna grab my favorite gloss of all time, Fenty again. And this is their Universal Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. Chocolate, mommy, I love it. Comfy on the lips. And all that's left now is to sort out my hair. I literally just fluffed it out guys, that's it. That's all that happened. But that is it for this daytime fall inspired look. I absolutely love it and honestly it feels super, super light on my face. I really hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe in the beginning, you have another chance to just subscribe right now. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.